Hello, I'm going to answer some questions in this video. Some of them are things I have answered several times before, but I keep getting the same questions. Before asking questions for the videos, please check out my other videos and books. The most common questions are already answered. So here goes. Someone asked, how come Europeans only have 4% Neanderthal DNA? And someone else asked why European people have only 5% Neanderthal DNA. As I have said before, they don't. I still find it amazing that people will listen to scientists tell them that humans share 85% DNA with a mouse and 61% with a fruit fly and then believe them when they say we only share 4% with Neanderthals. It is wrong and misleading information, but these things have to be put this way because so many still believe the lies about Neanderthals being stupid, cannibalistic cave people who can't even speak, even though it has been proven to be wrong. Now for the next question. Neanderthals practiced cannibalism and their diet was 70% carnivore. That means there is nothing love, peace and light in them. From where did you receive the idea that Neanderthals are clairvoyant and peaceful? The woman who asked this question and various others, rudely I might add, didn't do much research, did she? It has been proven and debunked already. Neanderthals were not cannibals. It was proven that it was in fact hyenas and other scavengers who made holes in the skulls they found. Please stop spreading such nasty disinformation. Also, eating meat is the healthiest diet, especially for those with O negative blood. And that doesn't mean someone is a bad person. All life on this planet is only alive because it is nourished by other life. Yes, even plants. I don't have much time or tolerance for nature deniers. Eating fish and meat is what made our brains and intelligence grow. And the lack of meat and fish, little or none in the land apes, is why they didn't evolve naturally, as quickly as serpent bloodline humans did. Next question. If you are saying you are pure serpent bloodline, how much Neanderthal DNA do you personally have? It cannot be more than 4 to 5%, so that means you cannot use the word one of us, or that you are pure bloodline. Well, as I just said before, it is ridiculous to think that any human alive has only 4 to 5% Neanderthal DNA. So there you go, that's a lie to begin with. And anyone who is serpent bloodline is 100% serpent bloodline. But I can't really say Neanderthal because that isn't a name we use for ourselves. Although I have using it to try and describe who or where we came from. But modern scientists keep changing what it means to be a Neanderthal. And the more they learn about genetics, the more things change. As I have said before so many times, serpent bloodline were the first humans to gain higher intelligence or evolve from aquatic apes. The other two lines of land apes were still similar to modern day chimps with A positive blood and gorillas with B positive type blood. It is the serpent bloodline who brought the O negative blood to those land apes when they mix their genes with them. So all these mixed ancient human ancestors they keep finding, some they class as Neanderthals, others as Cro-Magnons, others as Denevisans, are not 100% serpent bloodline, because these scientists, anthropologists and geneticists are not aware of how the mixing occurred. They get a lot of things wrong, they are guessing or assuming most of the time. Next question. Human civilization evolved not long ago with domesticated animals and agriculture, where clearly Neanderthals did not practice that. 
the civilization, culture and domesticated animals came from Cro-Magnons. So what are your thoughts on that? Hundreds of thousands of years ago, before Cro-Magnons even existed, Neanderthals did keep animals on a small scale, some for food and some as pets. But because they lived in tune with nature, they did not set down roots. They moved about so they would not hunt any animals in any area to extinction. They used their brains and moved about so that after moving on, that area would naturally replenish itself. And if you think that that means they are less advanced than the horrors of mass-produced environmentally damaging farming techniques that we see today and the overpopulation it has caused, then so be it. I happen to have a different view. From where did the Cro-Magnons come? Atlantis or maybe the sea? I've also explained this many, many times that Cro-Magnons are the result of the Neanderthals, our serpent bloodline, mixing their genes with the land apes and then some of the serpent bloodline breeding with the hybrids that they have produced creating a stronger hybrid line which became the Cro-Magnons or Eagle bloodline. Are the Eagles the same as the modern day bankers and did they descend from the Roman elite? Those who run everything now are the Eagle bloodline and they were also the Roman Empire, yes. That later became the Roman Catholic Church and the Jesuits. But those are obviously not the only things they control. They use these different organisations to play one side against the other. So using the Roman Catholic Church as an example, they also run the Freemasons, who they claim are completely separate, and Ordo Tempus Orientis, and the Church of Satan for example. And they love that people join these things and think they have an enemy on the other side when really the eagles are behind them all. What do the eagles call themselves? They use eagle symbology to signal each other all the time, from the fake moon landings, where the eagle supposedly landed, and here is a clip from the International Space Station, taken in 2022, where an astronaut is admitting that we've never had the technology to go to the moon but we hope to in the future because right now we can't get past low earth orbit it's impossible plasma being the way stars function and with everything that we are learning about production and energy management that will help to send people even further than the space station sending people to a station around the moon one day and then sending people towards Mars and everything we learn on the way interestingly will help us on the ground of course more symbolism of the eagle includes the two-headed freemasonic eagle that looks both ways in other words plays both sides the Eagle of the Roman Empire, and so much more. I very much doubt that they would call themselves Eagles though. The firm, the society, the business, and other order names stolen from the Serpent Bloodline are ones that I know about. Are the Archons and Labra Barroth real? If they are, are they considered negative evil? Then how about the archangels and demonic rulers of the planets? For example, Zazel and Kaziel, being the rulers of Saturn, etc. Archons and archangels and demons are all thought forms, are a Gregor for different planets. Just like our planet is alive, so are the other planets. Using sigils and ceremonies or certain ar archons, demons, will evoke the energies related to that planet. All aspirants spend a lot of time working on tables of correspondence. This is why 
It is so they understand what energies they need to work with and what they are associated with. Who were the Arends who allegedly first domesticated the horse and migrated from the Caspian steppe 2000 BC? Who are these people in modern day? Were the red-headed Scythians of the Pontiac Strept Eagles 7000 BC to 300 BC? The Scythians were serpent bloodline tribes that migrated from the Tigris area. At the time they were together with Simples, but it was while in the Pontic Caspian Steppe where some of the serpent males first bred with some of the simple females, creating the eagle line, who later went on to rebel. These were known as Aarons. They slaughtered most of the serpent bloodline, then moved down through India and other places. They disrupted the simple's villages that had been previously set up by serpents, causing chaos in those areas that before then were peaceful people living in tune with nature, as taught by the serpent bloodline. So they began to move out all over the globe really after that, causing chaos and destruction wherever they went, as they still do to this day. Who were the lost tribes of Israel, Judah, Dan, etc.? And do they have a connection to the ruling class of modern day? perhaps some banking families. The so-called 12 tribes of Israel are nothing but allegory for astrotheology. Just like the 12 gems on the priestly breastplate, the Hosong, each represents an astrological sign, so do the 12 tribes. Genetically, what were the origins of the ruling class of the Roman Empire, Romulus and Remus, myth etc, and did they translate over to medieval Europe? The Roman Empire that later became the Roman Catholic Church are genetically an eagle bloodline, so they were hybrids and could have any genetic lines, but would be predominantly Y-DNA R1B male eagle line and female serpent lines of H and U and also likely some J and K, maybe some T. Was the French Revolution perpetrated by the Eagles? Yes, the royals had too much power and were not complying with their commands. French revolutionaries were Freemasons, including Marquis de Lafayette, Marquis de Concorquet, Mirabeau, Georges Danton, the Duke of Orleans and Herbert, Louis Philippe II, Duke of Orleans, a leader of the liberal aristocracy, was the Grand Master of the Grand Orient at the time of the French Revolution. And please excuse my French, as in I cannot pronounce those names. Which bloodline were behind the Bolsheviks and the Russian Revolution and the genocides that followed? Weren't the Romanovs also eagle? Eagle bloodlines were behind it, and they were playing both sides. Yes, the Romanovs were eagle bloodline. Who put Adolf Hitler and the National Socialists of Germany in power? Was any of it organic? A lot of people seem to forget that Hitler was only involved in the Second World War, not the First. But as usual, the pawns on both sides were being manipulated. It was Anton Drexler who founded the Nazi party. Are there any serpent or eagle genes in Finland? I've always thought that the Sami people of Lapland would have some. I know that my mother's side has red hair genes and is O negative. Sami people are simples, so not eagle, but of course do carry some serpent genes like all simples. So yes, they could have. Some of them could be stronger in the serpent genes than others. What happened to the Grand Duchess Anastasia of Russia? Was she simply murdered or did she disappear? 
It is said that her body was found and identified, but I strongly believe that she went into hiding, and probably her bloodline still survives to this day. Where is the nearest life in the universe outside of Earth? Unless this is a special secret that can't be revealed to anyone. I think someone asked this question about aliens before, but what about life in general? It's interesting, even if it's just small microbes. The great work I'm currently completing is only within this solar system. When I saw the beginnings of the universe when illumination occurred, it showed me how the universe was formed, but then it was mostly showing me this planet and how things evolved here. And when I astrally project, I am limited to this solar system. No one can go beyond this even with astral projection, because we are trapped here until we finish the work here and then move on when we die. So I cannot visit any planets beyond our solar system yet, but I do know that there is no other planet in this solar system that has life on it, and I do know that every other solar system will have some life, but the planets are alive, so it's not counting that. So although I do know that there really is other life out there, I cannot see it yet. I haven't got that far in my own work. No one trapped in this solar system can, just like those in other solar systems can't see us. Are the lineages related to the pharaohs? Ramesses was a serpent bloodline family member, and Tutankhamun and Akhenaten were eagle lines. Are the Templar crosses nowadays related to Switzerland? As I explained in my last video, the Eagles are using our Templar cross as their own. It represents the wheel of the year and the solstices and equinoxes, pretty much like when they use the sun symbol for the Nazi party. They take sacred symbols and pervert them. What are your thoughts about COVID and the connection to genetics and bloodline? All I will say about this is, if the Eagles were to release a virus, they would want to make sure that they survived. Eagles have a high percentage of Reese's negative blood, because they have more serpent genes than the simples. They are also very into purity, wishing they themselves were pure serpent bloodline, which is what has led them to wanting only serpent bloodline women to breed with. So to them, if they lost some of the less pure eagles, it wouldn't matter so much, as they are ever striving to make pure that which they cannot. Okay, that is going to be all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I do my best to answer your questions, but please check my books, videos and blogs etc first before asking questions, because it does get so tiring repeating myself the same things over and over. There is a search box on the templeoftheola.org that searches sites and blogs of mine which could help you to look things up, but that doesn't include the videos, so please check them out. There is so much information in them and my books. Take care and see you soon. Bye for now.